new musty mark rolls. How are you, Paul? Nice to meet you. And you too. That has got me very excited. Let's go fishing. Roger. Mark, I've got to say I am so excited because I've done all sorts of fishing. Motherships, little boats, piers, rocks, almost done it all, but I've never heli fished the Northern Territory and I can't wait. It must be pretty cool from up in the air. It is, Paul. We're going to take this R44 out over the Mary River system. It's a wilderness area, the wildlife's magnificent and hopefully the fishing's going to be really good. I just cannot wait. Mary River, I've fished it in a boat. I've only seen it from this level. To see it from up there, it's going to be pretty special. Let's do it, mate. Let's go. Mark, where exactly are we? We're in the uh, Mary River system at the moment, Paul. This is a little uh, enclosed billabong that's locked off from the main salt water by a barrage wall. Come on, Paul, let's go try another spot. Sounds like a plan. Ten casts here, no fish. We've got the motor transport. They can help us find them. I was just tossing this little 3D minnow down by that snag and this fish just come out and smacked it. And this is a bit of a saltwater creek. We've tried a couple of billabongs but it's very, very early in the wet, as in the wet has just passed. So there's too much bait and we were seeing fish but not catching them. So Mark suggested this little saltwater creek and it's really, really dirty. It's not the best time to fish yet. First cast I had a good bump and now a couple of casts later, out comes the Barramundi! Nice clean fish that one, Paul. Isn't he? I'm going to slide him out the bank four. Crocodile watch. And that, oh, come here, mate, is a beautiful saltwater Barramundi now. Here's some grips here, mate. Thank you very much, because I was just about to stick my thumb in there, which wouldn't have been clever. There you go. Now, just a small fish, but that is Barramundi in its purest form. It's a saltwater barra. You can see he's all chromed up. His tail, not quite yellow, but it's getting there. Only a small fish. When he hit that little 3D minnow though, I lit up. So Mark, what made you pick this beautiful spot? Mate, this is a great little spot when the tide changes and it usually produces good barramundi. Normally a bit bigger than that fella. So let's see if we can get some bigger ones. Sounds like a plan. I'm not fussy, I'm happy with this guy. If they get bigger, that's just fantastic. But what a great little spot. We'll get this one back and then we will catch ourselves another. If you can just help me with that lure, mate. That's a good fish. He tried to pull me back into that snag. He followed that lure all the way across the river. And now he's come through and just nailed it. And the boils, look at those boils, that big tail. That is just insane. I've got to say, people come to me everywhere. I was in the main street of Darwin yesterday, an amazing place. I think it was Mitchell Street, but I could be wrong. People have said, Paul, you have the greatest job on the planet. And you know what? When I fly out, across the landscape I saw today and then cast my lure into this water and hook a beautiful barrel like this, I must admit, I think those people are right. This is so cool and just let me say, if you get the chance you're in Darwin, look up Mark because he's the man. To be able to go out in a helicopter, see some of the greatest wildlife ever and then cast and catch a barramundi like this, I'm just going to slide him up on the bank. Oh, 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 oh my golly god! That Thank you, Mark. On so many levels, I'm going to support his belly. That is what I call a barramundi. How big's that fish, mate? You caught a few here. I'll tell you what, I reckon you'd have to go close to 65, Paul. 60. It could be better. 
65, I reckon he's about 80. He's a solid fish. <laughs> Check out the tail on that, and that's what was causing those massive boils. Look, he's actually waving. And Barramundi, they're just an amazing fish, aren't they? There's something about them. They're great, mate, they're great. Well, this is fishing. The Northern Territory, heli fishing, I think you're gonna do okay. Thanks, Paul. Because Barramundi, as I said, they're an Australian icon, and you can come and catch them this way, doesn't get much better. And here you go. Gotcha! Oh, nice fish! Wow, how good is this? We just had that other mullet eaten by a catfish. I just saw this rod tip go gudunk, gudunk, gudunk. And how nice that when you can cast a live bait out into the water, a little mullet, and you've got to understand these mullet were put on the planet for the sole purpose of feeding fish like barramundi. That's what they're here for. And they're here in their millions. Got a couple of liveys out in the middle, chucking lures, having a good laugh at the boys. Now, come to me, my friend, and just show us how pretty you are. Oh, he's a nice fish too. Oh, that's a good barra. Come on. I'm going to drag him up on the bank. Come on. I just, I can't, I cannot pull him up any faster. I've got a little Corrado here, the 200, my favourite new little barra reel by Shimano. 20 pound fins. I've just got to, oh, just got to turn his head and slide him up on the bank. Yeah, he doesn't want to come. He doesn't want to come. Mark, the barra are tough here, mate. What are they eating, kryptonite? No, mate, we just breed them tough in the territory. Look at that big yellow tail. This is a nice saltwater fish that's come up with the tide. Okay, I'm gonna try and get him on this bank here. Come on, mate. Come on, come on. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, that is a good barramundi. That is a cracker of a barramundi. And you, my friend, have fought so well that I have to say, oh, I support the valley. Oh, come on, come on, be kind. But I love your work. How good is that? And I am extremely privileged because to catch a fish like that and to see what I've seen today, my goodness, golly me. I'm going to spear you back. I'll tell you why, mate. It's because I ain't fond of lizards. Do me proud. And away. She goes, Mark, as I stumble over my own feet, let me just say thank you because I've had some amazing fishing experiences. I'm glad of that, mate. But to fly out here to catch fish of that quality, how good is that?